Hello, YouTube. Um, it's been a while since I made a video, so I'll remind you of my name. My name is Ryan, and I am disabled, and as a disabled man, I am sort of an advocate for the disabled. I uh, speak up for those other disabled people that can't speak up for themselves. I just, with that being said, this is going to be a video about um, disabilities. I don't see a whole lot of other people making videos about disabled people and uh, disabled lifestyles. There are those out there that have made videos like that and, um, you know, they're pretty good, well and thought out videos, but what I'm saying is there's not very many of the many of them out there and not very many straight from the mouth of a disabled person. Um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, a lot of disabled people are kind of dependent on Social Security and um, $750 is not enough to live on. Nobody could live on that. Think about it. You've got rent, you've got utilities, you got groceries, and then you've got bills. Um, and depending on whether you have a car or not, you have gas. And um, when, it, when or if you get married, your social security gets cut in half. So that's a little unfair. Um, and, and I understand that the government can't pay out, you know, thousands of dollars every month. That would put us further in debt the, than we are now. Um, if part of the problem is if we didn't have people on Social Security and on welfare that didn't need it, um, we could afford to give more money to those disabled people that need the, um, that need the, need the money, and, uh, I know I, I get benefits through my social security, uh, and that's really the biggest thing, um, as far as social security goes, at least for me. Okay, next thing on our agenda is dating. Okay, so, um, a lot of disabled people don't get dates. Uh, and others can only get dates with disabled people. 
Well, that's a problem if you're a highly intelligent person like me. Actually, I don't know how intelligent I am. But, um, if you're, you know, fully cognitively aware and, and you're fairly smart, you know, um, you don't want to date a disabled person. Like, if you are, like I said, fully cognitively aware, um, and you date a disabled person, you know, you have a higher chance of, you know, hurting that person's feelings, um, and there's many other issues uh, that I can't really get into right now. Uh, and the third thing, you know, is the social stigma, I guess, which I guess would probably go along with uh, dating. Um, that, uh, most disabled people are, um, not well educated and, you know, um, and other Another social stigma as far as uh, disabled people go, they are, th now this is a stereotype, this is common among disabled people, so um, they're usually mad at God because they think you know, God had allowed them to, uh, or made them the way that they are. And, um, I think, uh, that there could be nothing further from the truth I think maybe God allowed them to be the way that they are. I don't know if he made them that way. Um, and friendships are very difficult for disabled people because you'll meet those people that, you know, say they don't want anything to do with you because they can't understand you. And then you come across those people that are just like really mean uh, without a cause. You know, I remember when I uh, had just gotten out of the hospital, you know, I was supposedly supposed to die. They gave me five months to live, so Make-A-Wish uh, gave me a pass to go to whatever theme park I wanted in the U.S. Um, for a year. So I chose to go to um, Disney World. And me and my mom, me and my mom and my dad and my sister um, 
were at this place uh, in uh, in um, uh, Disney World. Um, it was made to look like, you know, a uh, 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 attraction from Toy Story, you know, where they had the little sp space, um, uh, atmosphere, you know, and it w looked like the plaza or whatever, um, uh, 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 where you know, oh, the claw, look where, um, anyway, uh, and so, me and my mom were in the elevator, and I was going through chemo at the time, and, uh, so, there's this boy on the elevator, right, and I was, like I said, I was bald because I was going through chemo. And so the boy said, turns to my mom and says, what's wrong with him? Is he stupid? I mean, that uh, makes it very difficult to um, make friends uh, as a disabled person. And uh, as far as dating goes, I know I'm, that was the last point that I was making. As far as Dating goes, um, women like confident men, and I'm confident in independent men, okay, well, disabled men can be confident, and disabled men can be, um, independent to a certain degree but but um if you're like me and um you have signed over your guardianship to somebody um your independence has really uh, been diminished or even eliminated. Uh, you know, you're not really gonna have much luck getting a girl. Now, um, there's, you know, other, um, other, uh, issues in disabled people's lives, you know. Um, one that I deal with, uh, is loneliness, you know. Um, uh, and like I said on Social Security, which was, I don't know, my first point, um, you're only supposed to have $2,000 in the bank at a time. <laughs> I mean, what if you have to make a big purchase? What if you don't have a choice in, 
you know, you just gotta make a big purchase. You, you know, it's your only option. Um, and then, like, social stigma, it's like, if you're like me and you have someone going with you everywhere that makes you look very, um, dependent and submissive and if you're like me and you live with a bunch of control freaks you know and you gotta tell them everything that you're doing if you know if you're buying something and they want to know what you're buying and why you're buying it and what you're gonna do with it and um it it's just not fair um but with that being said i'm gonna end the video here please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.